Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Enotech webinar, Pyro Process Optimization with Semtech, the gas sampling system for kiln inlet chambers of cement plant rotary kilns. Before starting with the webinar, let me briefly introduce our company. Enotech is a mid-sized German company based in Marienheide, a small town close to Cologne in Western Germany. Since its founding in 1980, Enotech has grown to a company with around 70 employees and sales offices in multiple countries. Enotech's goal has always been to manufacture innovative, high quality and reliable products. This is the main reason why we have in-house development, engineering and production entirely in Germany. We aim to produce the best products available on the market and this focus has made us into the combustion specialists that we are today. Pyro process optimization is the aim of this webinar. So improved pyro process efficiency and environmental sustainability is a global requirement which can be achieved by the following. Number one, increasing the kill burner combustion efficiency. Number two, optimizing the process for low NOx operation. Number three, increasing the SNCR efficiency. Number four, controlling the preheater combustion and number five, reducing the refractory destruction. But what are actually the main targets here? Cement plant operators need to optimize the combustion process, reduce specific emissions, enable low NOx operation, increase SNCR efficiency, maintain clinker product quality, reduce refractory wear and destruction. So to achieve all these goals, you will need an analyzing technology that is fast, reliable, and continuous. Why fast? Because it's important to know what is happening in the kiln as soon as possible in order to react to changes. Reliable, because reducing maintenance and the accompanying costs is necessary. And continuous, because only with continuous measurements can the process be optimized. This is very important. Some manufacturers claim to have a continuous measurement, but this is not the case. Often kiln inlet probes are retracted for manual cleaning, which is both dangerous and time consuming. Additionally, if the ingress of dust into the probe is high, regular purging is required. And during purging, process measurements aren't possible. Enotech's definition of continuous measurement in the kiln is 24 seven. The probe stays in the process for 24 hours and is retracted once a day purely for precautionary reasons. So let's take a look at this graph from the Union of German Cement Producers, the VDZ, which confirms the interdependency of O2, CO and NOx in the pyro process. We see the O2 concentration in percentage here and the concentration of CO, SO2 and NOx in PPM here. The excess O2 sweet spot from the main burner will be around this area, between 1 and 2 percent. And as you can see, this concentration of excess O2 influences the values of CO and NOx and contributes to build up in regard to SO2. High concentrations of oxygen result in increasing NOx emissions. This in turn requires higher NOx abatement efforts such as ammonia spraying in the SNCR, possibly leading to ammonia slip issues. Low concentration of oxygen result in increased CO production, which is destructive to the plant infrastructure and to the refractory linings. This will inevitably lead to higher maintenance and kiln stops, which will have a negative impact on costs and productivity. Therefore, again, a fast, reliable and continuous measurement is a must in order to optimize the kiln, burner and overall production process. So the challenges in this application are clear. High temperatures above 1000 degrees, dust concentration of up to 2000 grams per cubic meter, high concentrations of chlorides, alkali and sulfates, depending on the fuel which are in use. This can lead to corrosion, of course, in the equipment and harsh ambient conditions. Last but not least, an optimal probe position for reliable process values from the kiln is required. 
Now let me explain how we at Enotech have continuously developed our Semtech system in order to overcome all of these challenges. A main ability of the Semtech is not only to survive, but to be able to measure continuously inside the rotary kiln. Cyclic probe rotation is a key feature to ensure this. The probe rotates 45 degrees to the left, and then after a few minutes, 45 degrees to the right, as you can see in the following video. The special design of the probe and the highly efficient cooling system are optimized to prevent formation of hot spots or even bending of the probe, something that many may have seen previously in the cement industry. Furthermore, raw meal continuously settles on the probe tube, which can lead to the probe sticking in the process. Especially in really sticky conditions, it's difficult to avoid the probe getting stuck as buildups quickly arise. Probe rotation minimizes this risk considerably. No matter what may occur, whether it's a plant power supply failure, probe pressure or temperature exceeding their limits, in any case the Semtech probe will automatically retract from the process to prevent damage. To protect the equipment, a pneumatic motor with two ton retraction force will remove the probe within seconds from the process. The 1000 litre compressed air tank serves as a fuel supply for all of the pneumatic probe movements, including retraction. So here is the big compressed air tank, and here are the toothed rack and wheel. There are no chains which need constant maintenance. Now guess who's stronger, the Semtec or a Rhino? Well, since the Semtec has a two ton pneumatic motor and our Rhino weighs around 1.7 tons, our Semtec would win as it could pull back the Rhino's weight. Last but not least, our flange seals and opens automatically during retraction and insertion of the probe. This is a distinct advantage as electrical components right at the kiln inlet are prone to failure. In this video, we will see the Semtech retracting. Here you see the E-chain with all electrical and pneumatic connections. Here is the local control box, which now has an intuitive touchscreen. But take a close look here. Did you see that? As mentioned before, the flange seals automatically. Notice the speed of retraction and insertion of the probe. Another difficult challenge to overcome is the extremely high dust content of around 2 kilograms per square meter inside the kiln. The combination of high temperatures and high dust concentration makes this a difficult application. Semtech has an automated plunger which permanently keeps the flue gas entrance free of blockages and pulverizes deposits within the probe. The blockages will falsify the measured values of O2 and CO. Here's a short video showing the plunger. The plunger movement is cyclic and won't affect the measurement. Plugging of the probe entrance will take place without a plunger so that reliable process measurements won't be possible. The probe's filter has a surface area of 2,000 squared centimeters and a porosity of 3 microns for dust-free sample gas to the analyzer. Here are two interesting features. First of all, Semtec has a 30 liter tank which purges the probe at high pressure. This happens once an hour. And last but not least, this is the protection tube and this is the plunger. This gap is the gas entrance and it's just 0.8 millimeters wide to prevent a high influx of dust into the probe. This is a sectional view of the probe. 
The water coolant mixture enters the probe and the warmer mixture in red exits the probe. Here you can see the process gas entering the probe through the small gap between the plunger and the protection tube. Since we have no cold parts along the gas path, the temperature of the process gas will always be above the dew point. From the tip of the probe, through our heated measuring chamber, through the heated extraction lines to the downstream analyzers, the process gas is always above the dew point, so condensation and blockages won't take place. You can see the plunger moving to ensure a clean gas entrance every couple of minutes, and then once every hour, the high pressure purging will take place. During purging, we will measure oxygen three minutes long. Process measurements will be frozen and three minutes later, live measurements will take place. This is one of the reasons why the Semtex system offers a 95% availability of the process values. So the benefits here are clear. Firstly, we have dust-free sample gas as only a small amount of dust enters the probe through the small gap. Plus we have a large filter with a small pore size. Secondly, we have a very small dead volume of just one liter. This means that the sample gas will quickly reach the downstream analyzers. Thirdly, because of the previous reasons, a short purge once an hour is sufficient. Why is this so important? With a large gas entrance and larger dead volume, more dust enters the probe, which necessitates more frequent purging. This leads to less availability, because during the purge process only O2 is measured, not process gas. Additionally, purging more often will cool down the inside of the probe, resulting in condensation issues and blockages. The best sampling technology won't help to achieve the desired results if the probe is not installed in the right position. Let's take a look at this drawing. As you can see, the kiln rotates clockwise, seen from the inlet chamber to the burner. So in this case, the probe needs to be installed on the right side. If it were to rotate anti-clockwise, we would recommend an installation on the left. Furthermore, the probe must be positioned in the upper third of the kiln in order to avoid influences or damage from the rotating material. It's also extremely important that the probe tip is inside the rotary kiln after the kiln's seal, otherwise false air will be measured. As can be seen in this drawing, the insertion angle should be chosen to protect the probe from falling debris from the preheated tower. The probe should be positioned at a decline, usually around 2 to 3 percent, to prevent contamination inside of the probe. Depending on the position chosen to enter into the kiln and the platform itself, the position of the E-chain can vary. It can be placed upwards or downwards, right or left. This is an overview of the Semtec system. Here we see the 1000 liter compressed air tank. This is the coolant temperature control cabinet. And here we see the water coolant recooler. An air coolant recooler is also available depending on the requirements at site. Here you see the local control box. Here we have the PLC and the analyzer cabinet. Please note that because Enotech is also a system integrator, we're able to deliver the Semtech system and the gas analyzing cabinet if required. Should a functioning analyzer cabinet be available at site, this can easily be connected to the Semtech system. Finally, we see the probe and the flange seal. Before we finish, here's a quick overview of the products which Enotech has to offer for cement plants. Here we have the Semtec probe. Here is Silotech, which measures O2 for inertization and CO for smoldering fire protection in the coal silos. 
Furthermore, Comtech is a fast in situ measurement for O2 and COE at the downed comer for second stage combustion optimization at the preheat tower, and for which we also recommend to protect the electrostatic precipitator. And finally, we have Oxitec for an in situ oxygen measurement for the SEMS measurement. And that's it. Thank you very much for your valuable time. Don't hesitate to contact Enotech if you have any questions regarding the SEMTEC system.